Hi everyone, uh, Aman from this side. Today our uh, project is going to be this virtual key. We will be covering this in two videos. The first part, in this we will be just creating the structure that you will in style it. Okay. In the next part, we will be adding a functionality. So let's just start. Have our HTML file and CSS file. Okay. The title of keyboard is good. And let me just link a style sheet. Okay. So uh, this is the structure. Uh, you can clearly see we do have this text area. Like where our whatever we write it will appear here, and we do have keyboard, keyboard. Okay, so let me just have a text container and a keyboard. Okay, keyboard. So let's just style this the body, the text container. Uh, keyboard. Okay. So for text container, let me just give it some title width. So width, let me just uh, let just have a ninety, and uh, height, uh, let just keep it to twenty vh. So give it some background color as well, so that we can see uh, how it looks. So the style is quite smooth. You can see we do have some box shadow and border radius. Okay. Just have a box shadow so, gray. Okay, good. Now let's have some border radius. One so, does look good, but uh, have it half. Good. But still not in the center, we need to align it. Before alignment, let me just make it editable, right? As you can see uh, here, we do have this cursor, we can write anything, right? But uh, in this, we don't have this option. So we can simply make our or div editable, just adding this keyword content editable. So now it's editable. It's editable now. Let me just remove this outline. Outline and on tool starting from the left mode. Let me just increase the font as well. Uh, one point five. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. On family, uh, let's have a sensor it. Yeah, good. So far, so good. Now, uh, let's move to our keyboard. So for keyboard, uh, we do have this container, like uh, it's a gray color container. So let's just have it. Height, uh, we have given height 20 vh to the text container, so we can. Obviously, give it 60 width. Can give it width. Uh, we have given 90 width, so keep it to 70. And uh, let me just give it background as a gray. Okay. So, height and width, I think, looks good. We will we can obviously increase or decrease as per the requirement. But now uh, it does look good. Make it dark gray. Dark gray. Uh, Now we do need to align them in the center. So for that, these two uh, containers, uh, text container and keyboard, their parents is body, right? So we can go to body and give it display. Flex. It will be side by side. Uh, for that, we can change the text direction to column. Good. Just uh, align item to center 
and will justify content to space given it. Okay, so uh, there is no space in between. For that, we do need to give it height. Now it, the space has been. I think we should uh, decrease the height of keyboard. So let's just keep it to fifty. Okay, so this looks good. We can add obviously a uh, border radius here. Border radius. Uh, let me just have. Uh, we have given border radius of point five lakh. So let's just give it one lakh. Yeah, I think uh, it does look good, right? So as I can see, it's a white smoke color. Yeah. Next, we keep it white. Yeah. The background uh, we can make it a white smoke. Now it's fine. Uh, this much is good. We do need these buttons now, the keyboard button. So for that, uh, let's just create first the structure. As you can see here, uh, we do have numbers, then characters again some characters, caps lock, enter. This icon we do have. So let me just have some rows. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five rows. Let us just have five rows. So into five. Now we do have five rows. Okay. So for the first row, oh, we do have one, two, three, ten, or uh, and one eleven. We have eleven characters. So I am getting dot to three into eleven. Now we have eleven three. Let me just write eleven three here. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. I can slide to delete here. Now we'll add it. Okay. So, yeah, we do have this uh, like uh, these numbers like this. We do need uh, them in the horizontal manner, right? Right. What we can do, we can simply go to row because the row is the parent of all the key, right? Row is the parent of these all keys, so we can just simply go to row. Okay. Give it display flex and item uh, center and uh, the justify content. Justify content to space uh, just to distribute even it. Cool. Uh, this looks good, right? We do need to increase the font size. Well, so, uh, instead of giving here, uh, we can give. Is here the body, right? So this look good. good. So now we do have this, right? See, delete similar to this. We can uh, add character to the this row, or uh, that is uh, Q to P dot key. How much? Uh, how many are there? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can simply have ten keys. Q, Q, W, R, T, I, P. I. Let's see how does it look. Good. Similar to that, we can have. Third row. For third row, we do have a uh, caps lock, enter, and this A to L. Okay, let's have it. Let me just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's just have uh, 11 keys. We do have 11. First one is caps lock. Caps lock, uh, and let me just give it uh, another class as well. Capsule and A, you have A, S, e, F, H, A, A, L. That's the last we do have enter. So let me just have it. another class of end. So let's see how it looks. It looks something like this. Cool. 
then we have at last from that to m and at the end we have phase bar okay let me just count to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 uh, dot e into 7 7 or uh, z x t p b n and at last we have a uh, space bar e let me just give it space here and nothing just don't give it right we just give it some height and room. okay so this looks good right but uh, the spacing is not maintained on the y axis right in this manner spacing is not uh, properly given horizontally it's given but on the vertical end it's not given so what we can do we can give uh, this whole rows like uh, this row this whole room has parent keyboard, right? Uh, this one is I think there is uh, there are five rows and all of them uh, the keyboard is the parent for all of these, right? So what we can do we can go to keyboard and give it display flex, right? And uh, change the flex direction to column. Good. Just uh, align item uh, to the center and keep uh, justify content. This space just uh, distribute only. Okay, uh, obviously, we can uh, remove the center part here. Uh, cool. It does look good, but uh, you can notice the one difference here. The last two uh, Z uh, comes uh, just uh, at the bottom of A and uh, M at the bottom of right and we do have a space bar as well let's first just have a space bar for space uh, we don't need to do any special just at this class give it some height and width i'm giving it 50 percent of the overall and uh, height uh, i'm giving it to them and just give it background as a three let's see now we do have a space bar right we do have a space bar and we can do one thing we can reduce the width of last row as well okay so like in last or last we can say or uh, let me just give it some class if uh, we can say this second last so second last and just to give this second last row or uh, less width okay second last row width uh, let's just give it more than a uh, space bar I'm just giving it 60%. Let's see. Oh, it's at the left most. So for that, what we can do, we can just give it the margin to zero basically from top and bottom, also from left and right. So it is in center. Okay. So first uh, let's have this icon. Uh, let's just have delete icon. Uh, yeah. Can you use this? Uh, open this row and uh, instead of this let me just add this now uh, we have we haven't added font option so let me just have the cdi thing so that we can use it in our project so copy the thing and paste it here let's see we do have a button yeah we do have this icon of back back icon we do have now uh, you can see when i click on any button we do have this uh, highlighted part right so let just uh, implement this as well so that is for keys right key, when the key is active so what i can do we can simply give it background of white smooth can give it white smooth or we can even give it, give it white right so you can see it's getting highlighted but the uh, width is not too good right what we can do here we can simply give it some padding to key we just give it some padding uh, let's just have one then how it looks so i think it's uh, it does look good but we can obviously reduce it as our space bar is looking quite big yeah now this looks good we can just simply give it some 
border radius as well a little bit not more or border radius of pixel let's see how it is look yeah it looks good yeah looks good uh, and uh, on family i think we should apply the font family to body as well all our keyboard or characters and numbers are not looking good yeah now this is similar to this uh, I think we should decrease the height as well of our text container. Uh, let's just have it to 15. Yeah, how it is good. That's it from this video. Uh, try to implement the functionality uh, of this uh, virtual keyboard, and I'll be covering it in the next week. So stay tuned for that. Do let me know if you have any doubt in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.